Good morning, Jaguars. I'm Emma Loma. And I'm Lula Fonseca. We are your anchors for today. Welcome to the fourth show of the trimester. This year is going by so fast. I've made so many memories. Me too. I wish I could see all of the fun things everyone is up to this year. Well, you know, we could always just look in the yearbook at the end of the year. I hear the journalism students are working so hard putting it together. I'm so curious. Let's check in with Joey Osweiler to tell us more about that. Today we took a deeper look into our yearbook team to see why students should join our journalism class. Okay, so what is journalism slash yearbook? It is a class where we actually design the yearbook that students and parents can purchase for Jefferson. Um, each student is assigned between one and two pages. Um, they can work with a partner if they want to. I recommend the class for anybody who likes talking to people, anybody who likes taking pictures, anybody who likes um, really looking at intricate details in a program or designing something pretty. And then if you don't like any of those things, we can always find you a partner who does. But we're basically finding out information about what's going on at Jefferson. I feel like people should join yearbook because it's a really fun and creative way to get a fine arts credit and it allows you to go out and meet a lot of new people and you know try a lot of things that aren't typically in your comfort zone. I think yearbook allows you to come out of who you are and just get to know more people in the community and school and yeah, I think it's really fun. It's a really fun class. You get to create a page at the end of the trimester, and we do a lot of fun things in yearbook. So my favorite part about yearbook is probably just like how like self-paced it is because when it's self-paced, like it just helps me like get my work done on time. And it's only one big like assignment like in the whole like trimester. So once you get that done, you just basically just free time. So I think it's a great class to take. Yearbook seems like such a great class to join. This has been Joey Osweiler reporting for Jag Spots. Thanks, Joey. There are so many people that work hard here. I agree. For example, there's the student council. What do they do again? Well, they do a lot of things, such as give leadership opportunities to students. I want to know more. I wonder what Emma Obata will tell us. This group provides a voice for Jefferson students. They provide leadership and organization. Let's find out more on what student council does here at Jefferson. So in student council there are about six freshmen and six sophomore representatives. There's also around eight um, juniors, give or take, and then 12 senior representatives. So we yeah. look um, for people in student council who want to be a part of the school, who want to make a change, who want to create an inclusive environment for everybody. Um, we have student council for a couple of reasons. There are a lot of students in the school who need to share their voice and have an input on a lot of things and through student council you are able to do that and I feel like it's a really good like strong group that is able to share their voices and come together and create events for the student body and it's all around a very inclusive and fun environment. So. so what I find special about student council here at Jefferson High School is like the diverse set of opinions. I can really turn to them when I need some student input or when I need some student representatives. They've been a great asset for us this year. Some of the greatest achievements so far for Student Council would be bringing new energy to our pep fests and just more inclu uh, inclusivity and diversity in our activities. If you would like to see any changes here at Jefferson, check in with Student Council or consider running for it yourself. This has been Emma Ovada reporting for Jaguar Spots. Thanks for the information, Emma. Hey Lulu, what's your favorite subject? I love history. That's perfect because our next story is about the woman of Troy. Like the Trojan War? Yes, but in theater form. It's a one-act performance about the woman during that time period. Let's go to Shane Ross to learn more. The Jefferson Theater Company has been working on their competitive one-act. Let's dive into the rehearsal to see what they've been working on. So, I do lights for Women of Troy, and I really like the community that it builds, because with a smaller, like, group of people you get to know each other on like more of a personal level um, rather than like the big shows where it's just like oh I do the show with you so I really like the community that the show help, like helps build and there's a lot of new friends that I'm making. We are digging a grave for you. It's not much after what we have done but at least you won't be carry on. It is a 35 minute show that's a part of the MSHSL Minnesota State High School League and we take it to competitions and we get ranked by judges and the top couple plays get moved on to the next round. Yeah, our play this year is Women of Troy which is an adaptation of Euripides' uh, Trojan Women 
and it centers around what happened to the girls and women who were left after the fall of Troy. Our public performances are going to be on Thursday, February 1st at 7 p.m. and on Friday, February 2nd at 3.30 and 7. Hope to see you there. Thank you for checking out the Women of Troy with us. Make sure to find the Jefferson Theatre Company website for more information. This has been Shane Ross reporting for Jaguar Spots. Wow, I can't wait to go see the show. Me too. You know what else I can't wait for? I bet I can guess. Last, Last minute, minute congrats. congrats. Congrats to Charles Lindstrom who placed fifth in the Novence Division of International Extemporaneous Speaking at the Chanhassen Speech Tournament. Good luck to the speech team at YZ this Saturday. Congrats to the boys hockey goalie Carson Weiler for making the Minnesota High School Hockey Goalie Leader List. Finally, congrats to the cast and crew of the One Act Play, The Woman of Troy, for placing first in the Metro West Conference over the weekend. Break a leg at sections. Well, that's a wrap for a spot show number four. Make sure you stay tuned for the credits to see what Jags like to do in the winter. This has been Emma Loma and Lulu Fonseca. See, see you, you next time, Jags. Jags. Uh, my favorite winter activity is skiing. I like making snowmen. Uh, my favorite winter activity is probably doing snowball fights. My favorite winter activity is club volleyball. My favorite winter activity is skiing. My favorite winter activity is swimming on the high school boys swim team. Our favorite winter activity is snowboarding. <laughs> um, me and Miguel both like making cookies, like those special cookies. And gingerbread, man.